My wife and I have a son named Blake and he's part of the community living community in Huntsville. And he's doing quite well. He's been able to hold down a number of jobs over the years. When Blake was young, we really didn't know what the future had in store because Blake's attention span was um, easily distracted. But fortunately, uh, the, a lot of the local businesses would hire Blake for summertime employment and he would get to go and work for one or two hours a day, one or two days a week, and that worked just perfect for him. But now, he's going to work and he works for six or seven hours a day, sometimes five days a week, and he just loves it. The opportunity that is presented by being able to leave the house, become a productive member of the community, and go out to work is just fantastic. And he wants that. He wants that independence. He wants that uh, feeling of self-worth. It's a very important thing for community living to have the support network available. And as the individuals start to be able to do things on their own, they can back away. But they're always there in case you need to talk to someone or come up with strategies for little issues that may pop up as things I do in life. My son feels very at home everywhere he goes now in Huntsville. He can go to the different stores just walking downtown. Everybody says hi. When Blake comes home from work, I ask him, how's your day? And he always says, I'm so happy. I have the best friends ever. Well, how good is that? The boys were only two when they were diagnosed with autism. We reached out to Community Living and then they helped connect me with different services. I was home alone with three kids. My eldest is 19 and these two are gonna be 18 next month, so there's only a few months between them. So I had three babies and I was home on my own. My ex being a trucker was always on the road. The boy's dad was never home. It was Barry where I initially connected with Community Living. So when I came to Huntsville, I knew right away that I wanted to reach out to them because they were so helpful. You know, things such as having a bath. You have three kids running around, so you, it was essential that I had somebody to help. And luckily there were government programs out there that would help, but I wouldn't have known any of that if it weren't for through community living. The boys really wanted to, a job, but they were terrified to just, anybody is scared to get their first job and to go out there. And we had uh, a worker, Stephen, who came and met the boys and they went to the YMCA. And through that, they sat down and had a couple of sessions where they worked on a resume. And he touched base with the boys to find out, you know, what, what interests you? Where do you want to work? What kind of like, what are you, jobs are you interested in? It was such an amazing feeling for me, knowing that there was an adult that was there looking out for them, who knew about autism, who knew about, you know, what the needs might be or what the anxiety might be. So community living has been a huge support. Their confidence and their self-esteem has soared, um, especially through just feeling normal, feeling like they're part of the community, like their peers at school have summer jobs and and they now have summer jobs. And being in, Ryan is now in on stage doing Mamma Mia. He's, he would have never, ever gone out to even audition for a play like that if it hadn't have been for the stuff that's happened along the way. Probably 90 people tried out. We got a call after the auditions that Ryan got a part and I was bawling my head off because, you know, who who knew that my autistic little boy is is now front and center in this in this production that's rocking all of Muskoka. It's uh, it's been life changing, life changing for both of them to be able to feel a little bit more normal. I would say Zach was a normal child except for being super hyper and uh, not understanding how things work. When Zach was born, he had the, the cord wrapped around his neck. He had suffered uh, so much uh, brain damage from being choked off that they had to get him right into intensive care and do their thing on him. You know, if some of the other kids, you know the way kids are, if some kids would say to you, we're going to beat you up. Zach would take it literally for days. You would have to uh, explain it to him over and over again that they were just kidding or they were just roughhousing. 
They're not really going to beat you up. They're not going to kidnap you, stuff like that. So in that way, he was totally a different child than what other parents would go through. But uh, he was still our guy, and we were going to support him as much as we could. Before community living, I had one friend that I hung out with, and I didn't have a great social life. And I kept to myself, and you know, it was really hard to make friends. He was involved with all kinds of problems back back in Brampton, and it's just hard to have that one-on-one, -on -one, eh? So he would just go in, be lumped in with uh, other kids. It could be 20 to 30 in a group or, or less, but there was never that one-on-one. -on -one. So once we got set up with uh, community living up here, it was just, this is the place to put him in. It was like all the lights came on and said, wow, this is going to be great. Every idea that we've heard of, they say, well, why don't we do this with Zachary? Next day, we're getting a phone call with a follow-up. Let's do it. And it's, it's been happening. And that's the biggest change. Community Living Huntsville has given me that extra push. I'm doing guitar dropping, I'm doing swimming, I'm doing bowling, I'm making friends, I got a girlfriend. Jumpin' Jack Flash by Aretha Franklin featuring Keith Richards on guitar. Thanks for listening, guys. You can just see uh, the change taken off of them. I'm just totally amazed. It's gone way beyond what I even imagined. It's really looking good. Like the song says, we're gonna have to wear our shades. <laughs> it's so bright.